Rejection is one of the hardest things to take unless you have a good perspective on it. Stephen King's perspective when he was young was not to worry about it quite as much as you think you might. He had so many rejections a nail couldn't even hold it to a wall so he had to replace it with a spike. That's quite a bit of rejection. But all kinds of authors share their acceptances and rejections on websites. On this one, which is the Submission Grinder, you can see there's 32 rejections for only two acceptances. And those acceptances are for token markets that accept about 50% of all applicants anyways. But if you're going to go pro, you get paid about six cents per word. And going pro is actually really hard to do. You have to submit to a lot of markets and you have to be rejected a lot because 99% of people are rejected. But being an amateur is not all bad. There's the Writers of the Future contest. And every quarter they give out pretty amazing prizes. If you win, you get to go to a gala. And you get to vie for a grand prize of 5000 bucks. But it's only open to those who are not professionally published. You can't have more than three short stories published in a professional medium. Luckily for me, I have zero. A lot of different writers actually got published through the Writers of the Future contest. I did win an honorable mention once, and it was for a short story called Robots Don't Cry. It was actually my first publication, as you'll see later, but it was only a token market. I almost had it published professionally by Daily Science Fiction, which has professional rates. Uh, they gave me a personal rejection, and this is what it is. It was actually a really cool personal rejection. They gave me really good advice. I then took out the beginning of that story, just like they suggested, and I submitted it to a podcast called Cast of Wonders, and they decided to accept it. So this is my letter of acceptance, my only one. Actually, I had another one, but it kind of got lost in the pile of Cast of Wonders, and they decided to reject it after they already accepted it, but that's just another story. But I stopped submitting, and now I really have no professional publications when I probably could have over the last three years. I will never give up again.